So if you're doing a bay park in a place like this, you can actually choose the bay that you're already in to end up in. So I'm gonna go out and then come back into this bay. So before I do that, I've got my clutch down. This is downhill. So I've just got my clutch down and I'm using my brake just to control my speed. So up and down a tiny bit like that. My clutch is down. If I bring my clutch up, it's gonna go too far. So right now the gravity is pulling us down and I'm just using my brake to control my speed. I'm gonna signal right so people know I'm going towards that side, checking everywhere. I still got my clutch down because I don't need, really need it up at the moment. I'm remembering where my bay is, thinking about the lines one, two, three. I'm gonna use that as a reference point, keep checking around, make sure it's still safe. I'm gonna get my car straight first of all. And then I'll stop there. So I'm gonna count again, make sure I'm going into the correct bay one, two, three. So the line that I need is the one in between this black car and that silver car over there. So I'm just gonna get into reverse. I'll look around and when it's safe I'll start reversing back slowly so you see I'm going back really slowly just at the biting point no higher than that and then once I get my line in the middle of my door I'll do my full lock towards the right so at the moment it's not there yet I keep checking so it's there now so it's there now and then I do my full lock to the left to the right sorry because I'm going towards the right so I'll do a full lock there and because I'm going uphill as well I'm going to need use a bit of gas just to help it out so it doesn't struggle too much I'm just pressing a tiny bit of gas here so the rev counter is just between one and two there going really slowly checking everywhere I'm using my little mirror as well to see how close I am to each each, each line I'm checking that side as well it's looking like it's going to be a bit wide so I'm going to keep going back and it's making a bit of noise here because it's struggling up the hill so I'm just going to add a bit more gas but sometimes it's normal because uh, it's a bit of a hill so going slowly it's going to be a bit of a strain on the clutch We'll make some weird noises like there. Keep going back. Just starting straightening up now because the lines are looking straight. So up and down. So we notice when I'm bringing my clutch down to reduce my speed, I'm not bringing it down all the way because if I do that, the car like this, the car's going to roll forward. So to, to stop that from happening, when I bring it back up or bring it back down, is bring it back down a tiny bit, just like there, and then up again. Down and then up again. So not too far down, otherwise you're going to lose all the power and it's going to roll forward. And then once you're in, make sure you don't go too far back handbrake on, neutral, and secure the car. So I'm gonna do a bay park in this bay that I'm in already. So I'm gonna come out towards the right. There's a person on my left doing a maneuver already, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on them. And there's also a driver in this car here. I'm just gonna signal right so everybody knows what I'm doing. Then see those, those guys look like they're turning into their bay. So I'm just gonna let them move back a tiny bit first because you see that they've gone forward probably by mistake but that's why I want to make sure they start reversing first before I start going forward because I don't want to get in their way so now that they're reversing I know they're going to be out of my way I've got my clutch down because if I bring my clutch out right now I'm going downhill it's going to go too fast so I'm just got it down and I'm using my brake to control the speed and I'm going to turn all the way through and the whole time I'm looking around because this car park can be busy so I don't want to get in anybody's way or miss somebody that's coming so I'm gonna get my car straight first. So like now, then I straighten up my wheels, get into reverse, look around again. I'm thinking about the line that I'm gonna use, which is three lines from the bay that I want. So it's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna aim for the one after the one I was in because it's nice and empty there. It's not next to this car as well. So I'll, I'll use the bay after the one I was in before. So I'll use the third line, which is between this silver car and that gray car. And it's gonna reverse back a bit more, checking everywhere. Once that line is in the middle, I'm gonna do a full lock towards the right. So like now, I'll do a full lock to the right, checking everywhere, make sure there's no one coming behind me. And you notice I'm controlling my clutch here. I'm going up, down, up, down, but it's just around the biting point, no higher than the biting point, because if I bring it up too high, it's gonna to go too fast. If I bring it too low, it's gonna roll forward. So I'm just bringing it nice and steady. Now it's going uphill a bit more. I'm gonna add a bit more gas now to help it out. Go nice and slow. Once I can see that it's straight in the lines, I'm gonna straighten up my wheels and keep reversing back, nice and slowly. I'm gonna just straight up a bit towards the right, left, so just so you can be in the bay nice and straight. Back, looking back behind me as well. And once I'm in properly, I'll put my brake, clutch down, handbrake on, neutral, and come off the pedal smoothly, easing off the brake to make sure that the car's still gonna hold then it does. If it doesn't, I'll put my handbrake up a bit higher, but at the moment it's fine. So I'm gonna turn left here to come out of this test center. So I've just got my clutch down, got my brake on as well, because if I don't have my brake and I release 
the the handbrake now the car's gonna go flying downhill because right now we're on a we're going downhill right now so i put my handbrake down while i've got my brake on and i'm gonna ease off the brake gently i've still got my foot on the brake slightly i'm looking around everywhere make sure it's still safe just keep keeping down that curb over there as well as i turn checking everywhere and then now that the road is flattened out a bit more i can raise my clutch to the biting point and then add a bit of gas as well and then bring it down again because i don't want to go too fast i'm bringing my clutch down a tiny bit just so i don't get too close to these guys i want to keep my speed controlled so there i'm bringing it down a bit i'm going to turn right at the end here so a lot of people make a mistake here they will hear the word right and then they'll end up going into that into the right side of the road and you spell the test straight away if you do that what you want to do position yourself on this side which is the correct side of the road to be on and leave this side for people coming in then when you get here you don't know maybe even stop for a second check that left side out maybe even open your window a bit so you can hear anything coming from the left and it'll creep out slowly and it's looking good and then carry on so a lot of people fail there as well because they don't look left they just look to the right and then come out so you want to look both sides so we've got a van parked in the road here i'm just going to position myself towards the right but i can see a v another van a white van coming towards us so i'm not going to go into their lane and, and cut him off i'm just going to wait here for a second but i've already positioned myself in a way that lets ev everyone know that i'm going to be going towards the right and i'm checking around me as well so that when i'm ready to go all i need to do is check my right mirror and then move out to the right i don't really need to signal here i'm just going to check my right mirror and then start moving out go around the van and then check my left mirror to go back towards the left because i don't want to make sure that there's anybody nobody cutting in front of me there at the end here i'm going to be turning left so i'm going to check my center mirror my left mirror signal left and then i'm approaching it nice and slowly i'm checking both sides as i approach because i don't want to come out of anybody in the way so once I can see there's nothing coming, that car is really far away. I can check my left mirror again and add a bit of gas, bring my clutch up and I'm done. So if you're coming down here, usually the examiner will say to you, the traffic lights are going to be turning right. So the traffic lights are really far away, but you want to be moving to the right lane from early. So like now I'm going to check my mirror, mirror signal and go into the right lane and then cancel my signal. I don't want to be in this lane all the way down there and then try to make my way to the right after go to the right lane early once you hear the instruction that you're going to be turning right so right now i'm coming to a stop on a hill so i'm going to put my clutch down nice and early so that the car doesn't start rumbling too much and once i come to a full stop i'm going to put my handbrake on and go into neutral for a bit so you can do this if you want to rest your foot you can just relax uh, because uh, the lights are quite far away so when they go green it will take time for the cars to move and then it'll be our turn so in this way you can take time to relax but keep an eye on those cars that are up there because once they start moving you want to prepare your car so that you're not having to struggle to get ready when everyone's moving around you so we're on a hill here i can see everyone around me moving so i'm going to put my gear into gear one add a bit of gas clutch to the biting point handbrake down i'm holding my clutch still for a bit at the biting point and then releasing it slowly adding lots more gas now because we're on a hill and then now i can come off the gas clutch down gear two smoothly off the clutch back on the gas turning right here so i'm just gonna check my mirrors aim for this side i'm gonna aim for the left lane when i'm turning right as well if because we're the only uh, lane turning right i can aim straight for the left lane because this is the lane that i want to be in and then now i can speed up this way i don't have to like move over from the other side to back to the left because i'm already in the lane that i need to be in from early on so we've got these cars joining here and i can see there's a car on my right so i'm just going to slow down a tiny bit just because these guys are running out of space i'm going to go into gear three so if this car on the right wasn't there i probably would have tried to move over to the right but he was there so just to make these guys last a bit easier i just slow down a tiny bit and then they could join us i can see a bus up ahead there. It's indicating to come out so i'm just going to slow down I'm checking my right mirror in case i, I want to change lanes i'm going to go into gear two as i approach it because now it's getting a bit slower doing about 15 miles an hour now just gently on the gas i can see the lights red up there as well so it doesn't make sense me trying to go into gear three so i'm just going to keep it going slow clutch down all the way brake gently and come to a full stop handbrake on neutral and relax remember you don't have to do a uh, handbrake and then go into neutral you can put your handbrake on and go into gear one if that's more comfortable or you can go in keep handbrake down and keep your foot on the brake whatever do whatever is comfortable for you whatever you, is easier for you to control the car do it that way the main thing is that the car is controlled and 
yeah that's it really make sure the car's controlled that's it they're not going to care how you control it as long as the car doesn't do stuff that you don't want it to do so as I'm sitting, I'm looking at the cars ahead, I'm looking at the brake lights. When their brake lights come off and they start moving, I can start preparing as well, add a bit of gas, biting point, handbrake down. So that way I'm ready before the car in front of me moves. I'll use the cars ahead to plan ahead. So this bus is probably gonna pull over. As you can see, it's pulling over. I'm gonna check my mirrors and signal right. There's a big space between me and this lorry over there. So I'm just gonna go in there nice and early. It doesn't make sense going really close to the bus and then trying to make my way out after. You do it nice and early. And then now that's clear again, I can check my mirrors. Signal left and go back to the left lane. So going downhill, I don't really have to press anything at the moment because even if I don't press anything, the car's still moving. But I want to keep my feet near the pedal still. So I want to keep it near the brake and near the gas, near the clutch if I need to change gears or stop suddenly. Uh, but sometimes you don't even need to press anything and the car will still move at the, sp at the speed that you want it to move at. But now the road's getting a bit more level but there's lorries in front of me, I'm going to slow down a tiny bit. But I was going to say, once the road gets a bit more level, you can start using a bit more gas to keep uh, that same speed on, to mean, or even to go faster. So yeah, I'm going to follow signs for Wembley. So if you see this, it says straight, but it also shows you what lane you want to use as well. So there it was saying Wembley is in the left lane. So I can stick to this lane and then afterwards I can see other signs telling me which way to go. So when you look at those signs, don't just look at the direction that it's telling you to go in. Look at what lane you're supposed to be using as well. At this roundabout, I'm going to be turning right third exit, but it's really it's like quite a big roundabout. So you need to know exactly where the exit is. So I'm planning already. First is over there, second is down that way, third is over there. So I need to have a, like an idea that I'm going to be going to that side over there. Otherwise, if I go into it, Without a plan, I'm going to get lost and I'm going to get confused and it's going to be very stressful. So before I do all that, I already know I'm going to be going that way where that lorry's just come out of. So once I can see it's clear, I can add my gas, clutch up, and then I can go into gear two. So on this big roundabout, you do want to change to gear two because you don't want to go around it really fast in gear one. It's going to be really uncomfortable. It's going to be very noisy and, and the cars can be moving in a jerky way as well. So be in gear two for this. It's a lot smoother. So now I'm going to change into the middle lane, I'm going to check into the next lane on the right, I'm going to check my centre mirror, check my right mirror, signal right, I can see there's nothing behind me actually in the lane that I need to be in, I'm just going to go in there gradually, keeping an eye on my speed as well, once I'm in there, I'm going to cancel my signal, make sure you cancel your signal once you change the lanes because people forget that sometimes. So here I can see this car trying to join this lane, I can see there's nothing on this lane, so I'm just going to signal and then move over to the right, just so they've got a bit more space to join. And then once it becomes clearer again, I'm going to move over to the left. But I can see a car in front of the, the car in front of me braking, so I'm not going to be in a rush to go there yet, just in case there's a reason why it's braking. So now it's clear again, and everyone's going about 40 miles an hour. I'm going to check my mirrors signal. I'm going to go in there and cancel my signal once I'm in the lane. So I can see the traffic's building up a bit more ahead of me now. So I'm just going to ease off the gas, check my centre mirrors, so see anyone's close to me. Just checking my surroundings, easing off the gas. Everyone looks like it's going a bit slower, so I'm just gonna think about maybe going into gear three, but at the moment they're speeding up, so I'm gonna keep it in gear four. I'm also looking out for that bus that's pulled over, but on a dual carriageway, you've got priority. You don't have to wait for a bus that's, that's indicated to come out. So on a normal road, when this bus indicates, you've got to catch the wait for it if you can, but on a dual carriageway, you don't have to do that because uh, it's a fast road, so you just keep moving if uh, you see a bus indicating to come out. So we've got these cars on the left, they need to wait for us. So I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm actually turning left here, so I'm gonna slow down loads, signal left so this person behind me knows that I'm gonna be turning. And don't be afraid to slow down a lot here because you've already signaled so they know that you're gonna turn. So I've got need to gear to, my clutch is up now, I'm still braking gently. And then now, once I've turned, I can ease off the brake and go back to the gas. So when those kind of turns there, don't be afraid to slow down loads because you've already signaled to let people know that you're gonna be turning. So if you're turning, they're gonna expect you to slow down. So. That's what you need to do and then make it uh, safe to turn. 